Hello guys, welcome to my channel WinChem. Today we are going to see thermodynamic tricks. What and all tricks we are going to see. This tricks is regarding to open, closed and isolated system. The first law, how to do the first law. Okay, these are all things we are going to see in this slide. See one by one. Now, the first one is open, closed and isolated system. Let us see the open system. What is open system? Which one is open system? The best example is, see here, in this, a water is there. In this water, a sodium is there. If you put sodium in the water, okay, what will happen? Immediately it catches fire. Why, you know, always the sodium, we need to keep it in the solvent only, like hexane, like that we need to keep it inside the solvent only. If you keep it outside or if you touch with the water, immediately it catches fire. In this case, you can see the open system is the best example. How, you know? The matter sodium is starts heating, starts uh, burning and it releases the heat to the surrounding. Okay, this is the system. We call it as the beaker. We call it as system. The sodium is burning. That's why it's give, it releases the heat to the surroundings. Okay. So, because of that, the, around the beaker, a heat is there. Okay. The matter is also exchanges. Heat is also exchanges. Okay. That's why this open system, we call it as... It exchange heat and matter. This is the first one. Okay, open system. Next, what is closed system? The closed system is, see, one vessel is there, in this water is there. So, we started heating this vessel, but it is closed. The vessel, the vessel is closed with a lid. Okay, if it is closed, so whatever matter is there inside the vessel, it is not touched with the outside surrounding. Okay. There is a no exchange of matter between inside the vessel and the outside. Okay. There is a no exchange. But what is happening? While heating, you can feel the heat surround the vessels. Okay. You can feel the heat. So heat is exchanging, but not the matter. The water is inside the vessel is as it is inside. It's good. the water droplets are getting uh, uh, getting down itself. Okay. It is not coming out. So this we call it as example of best example of closed system. So what is happening in the closed system? Exchange only heat, not the matter. The third one is isolated system. In this isolated system, the best example we can take it as a thermo flask. In this thermo flask, we can keep a hot water or hot milk, whatever thing, even a cold, whatever thing, but you cannot feel what is there inside it. There is no exchange of heat, matter, nothing. There is no exchange. That we call it as isolated system. Okay, this is the three difference for open system, closed system and isolated. Open system is, there is the opening is there. So, the system and the surrounding is in contact. In the closed system, whatever is there inside the system, it is not in contact with the surrounding. It is closed. And the isolated system, we cannot see what is there inside in that and we cannot feel anything else, whatever if you keep it inside the thermo flask. This is the difference. The next one we are going to see is internal energy. What is internal energy? How to measure it? The internal energy is a total energy of kinetic energy and the potential energy. Okay. The kinetic energy and the potential energy we call it as internal energy. Which we cannot measure accurately. But we can measure with the state. If the state of first and second is there means we can measure it. How to measure the first and second state? See here. In this example, this is a solid. After melting, it becomes a liquid molecule. The first, this is in the first state. This is in a solid state. And it becomes, after melting, it becomes a liquid state. This is state 1 and state 2. Okay, this is the state 1 and state 2. So, we can find the internal energy of this in this examples. So, from the final, if you subtract the energy of the initial, we can get the internal energy. Okay, this is the initial state and this is the final state. If you subtract it, you can measure the measure the internal energy okay if the final value is more for example if you keep final value as 10 and the initial value as 9 then 10 minus 9 which is 1 which is 1 means greater than 0 okay so delta nu is greater than 0 when the greater delta u is greater than 0 means final value is more 
if the final value is um, initial value is more if the initial value keep it as a 10 and the final value is 9 9 minus 10 which is equal to minus 1 so the delta nu which is equal to negative value that is less than 0 so with this example you can come to know if delta u is greater than 0 the final value is more if delta u is less than 0 initial value is more now we can see the first law of thermodynamics before that we will see the main tricks of the thermodynamics what is the main trick in the thermodynamic if you see that when work is done on the system the w is positive for example if you take a beaker okay if you take a beaker work done on the system you are giving some pressure to the gas the gas is filled in the beaker okay with the help of a piston we are giving a pressure to it giving a pressure so what is happening so you are giving a pressure to it so w is, is equal to positive the work is done on the system you are doing a work on the system the beaker is a system you are doing a work on the system so the w is what is the w w is positive so w is positive if the same way uh, take a system okay in this over pressure is there okay the system is having more pressure automatically the piston lifts up in this direction automatically due to the pressure in the gas automatically this is uh, the system lift up the lift up the piston so this is we call it as when work is done by the system work is done by the system so the w we can take it as negative the work we can take it as negative okay in this case the work we can take it as positive in this case we are doing a work on the system the system is doing a work so this we call it as negative when the heat is applied to the system a q is positive when the heat is applied to the system the q is positive if you apply some heat to the system what will happen that we call it as positive okay if the heat is last by the system if the after some time the heat is automatically it get losing the heat so what will happen that will become negative when the system is losing the heat at the time it is negative keep these five four uh, trick in your mind this is easily we can do all the first order second order whatever it is exothermic reaction and everything we can easily solve it with the help of these four tricks in the mind if the work done on the system means if you are doing any work on the system then positive if the work if system is doing some work means that is negative okay uh, giving us some heat to the system means that is positive if you are giving or if you are uh, doing anything on the other then that is positive if the others are doing if others are doing automatically the system is doing by themselves then it is negative and the system is losing a heat by themselves then that is negative okay keep this in your mind the next one first law of thermodynamics what is the first law of thermodynamics the energy is not at all neither be created nor destroyed what they are saying energy is not creating is not destroying the one energy is transforming to another energy in another form that they are saying as the first law this is the first law of thermodynamics with a one good example they are explaining the food is taken by the man that is the energy is giving to the man okay after taking the food he is the body is completely is getting a heat okay it's a normal heat he is getting that is the one and he can able to do the work also with the help of the energy what is that the food as a type of energy that we given with the, with the help of that he is can able to transform in another way of as a work he can able to do some work that he can release the energy in the form of another way he is doing okay that is minus w that we call it as minus w so we are adding we are giving a heat to that that is heat that is q minus and the system is doing by himself that is he is doing the work okay we are giving a food and that is as a heat is giving a heat so that's why plus q and the system is doing by himself he is doing a work because of that he is releasing some energy okay that's why minus w okay he is doing some work the system is doing uh, doing work okay work done by the system that's why minus w so delta u r delta e which is equal to q minus w so delta u is equal to u2 minus u1 subscribe my video and click the bell button so that you will get the upcoming videos share to your friends also thanks for watching